last night and everything is looking so beautiful. I cannot wait to show you all. And today we are going to be setting up the quail hutch. It's finished. We're going to place it right here. And I think it's going to look really cool. So I'm excited. I like all of these. I know they're weeds, but I like them to keep the ground nice and moist. <laughs> The peppers were looking pretty sad, but they're bouncing back. They didn't appreciate the heat wave. And I've been meaning to show you, after releasing the nematodes, here's how the beetle problem looked before. And look at these plants don't have any of those flea beetles on them anymore. So the nematodes worked their magic. My listen is looking great. No more flea beetles. It only took a couple of days for me to see a difference in the population. So... We've got some pepperoncinis here. And like I was telling you before, I started this plant in January. I'm gonna do that next year with all of my peppers. Cause they're growing, but they're still pretty small. But some of them are putting on some fruit. And this year I'm just gonna let them fruit. I'm not gonna try and pick any flowers off. I'm experimenting, even though the plants are small. I'm going to let them fruit right right away. And see how that works out for us. So, looking fabulous. I'm super happy with how they're looking. This morning I'm going to be weeding. I'm going to be weeding the big garden though, not, not the peppers today. I will do them on another day. This one keeps hanging in there. <laughs> All these flowers on this one. We'll see what happens. And then I always plant sunflowers next to them now. I should have started the sunflowers much sooner. When these ones started volunteering, I should have planted, but I didn't. Look how beautiful that one is. Honeysuckle. I have it on both entryways. It's looking a lot better than it did. I'm really hoping, last year it got up to there. I'm really hoping that it will grow that tall again. This one's making its way up. And I probably shouldn't be watering, but my water's just on automatic, so the garden's getting water after that big rain. <laughs> I think there's a rain delay on it. I need to look at it. This is a little too much water, probably. I don't know. It doesn't look like it's going to rain again today, so it'll probably be fine. Sunflower. I already need to tie up these tomatoes again. They start doing really well and just taking off. Bunch of little blossoms. I'm going to let all the blossoms stay this time. This is... Last year I did a lot of pruning, heavy pruning and trimming. This year I'm going to experiment with the opposite and let things grow. It was a pretty hard rain, so some of the plants might be feeling it. That parsley looks a little bit. Well, these are putting on these flowers, these eggplants. I don't see an actual eggplant yet though. <laughs> So I don't know, my first time to even get the plants this big. So they're really pretty flowers. 
We'll see what happens. And this tomatillo plant went crazy overnight. I'm checking to make sure that I don't have, there's these little beetles that will attack this one and I don't see any, but I do see some bug damage. I think that's grasshopper though, because I don't see the little, they almost look like ladybugs, but they are not ladybugs. They are so bad. So I gotta get them. Look at these little flowers. So exciting. Oh, look even better. Some little tiny tomatoes starting. <laughs> I know there was a little cluster over here. I don't know how long it takes for them to get red. It's like all of a sudden you get a red one and then I'm going to pluck that off. It's got some. See, it's kind of brown. Look at how cute those are. And that thing is just looking so awesome. I don't know what it is. <laughs> it might be broccoli or cauliflower. This uh, is butternut squash. It's going to start taking off here. I'll make sure and put it here so it can grab on. That's so exciting. Got a little beat up in the rain, but it'll bounce back just fine. Look at that basil. So pretty. And I'm going to be pinching it so that it'll bush up. Pinch it like that. You can eat this. Do whatever you want with it. I cooked mine with eggs the other day. So yummy. Never think to do basil and eggs, but it was really good. But yeah, just keep pinching off the flowers and it'll extend the season for your basil. Cucumbers are starting to take off. This is a new variety we've never tried before. We're hoping that we like it. At the moment, my mind is drawing a blank of what it's called. Here's one of the onions I planted from seed. It's doing really well next to this tomato plant. And look at this one. This flower is so pretty. Which reminds me, I have another one of those I need to plant out. And this tomato has hardly any bug damage, so that's exciting. These are just going to start taking off now. Now these two plants are kind of competing. I shouldn't have planted them so close to each other. And this is just a beauty. Yeah, I guess it's doing really good. Carrots, cilantro, green beans. Let's go look at the flower garden. Look at all this amazing water. We get excited about water over here. Tree. Don't mind my weeds. I love them because I can always see bees on the weeds. So we leave some of them. 
I do need to get him away from that apple tree though. But look how beautiful the flower garden is doing. Very peaceful out here. Looks like they really appreciated that rain. That one is so neat. This is cool. This shows how much rain we got in a short amount of time. This pool was empty yesterday. So we got quite a few inches it looks like. Very exciting. We have been praying for rain. Oh look, the animal came back, but it couldn't get in. I wonder if the game camera caught it. I had the game camera turned on. Let me check on the meat chickens. Did some damage there too. Don't know what it thought it was gonna get by digging right there. Yes. Yes, it tried to dig in. The game camera was on. We're gonna see what this creature is, guys. Okay, awesome. Look, our game camera was on. And it was pointing right to there, too. Oh, yes, this is so, so good. Here's our peach trees, and watch. Why, good morning, rooster. Watch how much rain we got. It's pretty amazing. <laughs> Look at that. The peach trees actually seem to like it. Look how green they are. Now these are peach trees that we did an experiment. We started them from seed, so. It's just so cool. I'm going to come see my pear tree down here. It's poking out of the water. Oh, I can't wait to go through that game camera with you guys. It's going to be awesome. Can you hear those frogs on the camera? I love that sound. So neat. I had everything shut up very tightly last night because of the rain and everything and because of the predator. And it looks like everybody's okay. Hey guys, you were safe last night. Yay. All right. Oh, I feel so good. It came back, didn't get any of our animals. We were safe last night. I'm going to let everybody out to enjoy all the bugs from the rain. Come on, guys. We'll go outside now. It's safe. I know chickens aren't very smart, but these three <laughs> seem kind of smart because they're so uh, aware now that their buddies are gone. They're just like, eh, I don't think I want to go out there. I kept them in yesterday because I was going to be gone all day, so I just kept them all in here with their food and water, of course, but I didn't want to risk losing any because we weren't home yesterday, and I didn't know if I would be back before it got dark, so I'm moving them out now to their normal spot. They know what to do. They are so cute. I love their gray feathers. I was partial to a few that we lost there was a bright or orange one that I loved but I'm just so happy that these ones survived and I know why they survived now yesterday when I went to let them out of or like check on them give them new water because I didn't let them out yesterday they were I will show you where they were it was pretty amazing and now I know why they weren't eaten or taken so I let all the meat birds out too. They are so happy this morning with all the rain. <laughs> Yesterday when I came to check on them, 
they were literally clinging up here to the very top just hanging on and two of them were sitting on this door which I know looks so gross but my little chicks always get up there my little chickens I should say they're not chicks my bantam chicks always roost up high and these they were not roosting here they were roosting as high as they could get up in the chicken coop and that is what saved their life and I didn't know that until I came in this morning not this morning it was yesterday morning when I saw them doing that and I was like so happy like okay I think this is a breed of chicken that I would really like to continue to breed because they just have survival skills which is amazing and look at their little heads they're so cute their little tufts of hair there's your food guys they have that little Elvis hairdo. Little <laughs> rocker, punk rock chickens or something. <laughs> so fun. Well, these three are doing well. They're out for the day. They're gonna be very happy. Like I said, it tried to get in again. The same exact spot I have buried it back in. and So it's coming to the same spot. It must be very soft dirt right there or something. It knows where it's dug before. But I had this closed, so no one could enter. I'm so happy about that. I got some pictures of, I found some tracks as well, so I will add some pictures. And I can't wait to see what it is on the camera. I really hope our game camera got some good shots. Come on guys, it's been a long time since you've been out. Like I said yesterday, I kept everyone locked in the whole day. And today I'm going to let them free range because of that rain. They are just going to be so happy. This one's inspecting the hole like, ooh, something tried to get me last night. But I was safe. <laughs> Go on. That little rooster is always in charge when I let them out here. There's plenty of space for them to get away from each other, so. This is my little gray hen. She's very old. I would love to get some eggs from her to hatch because she has been definitely also a survivor. She's a good chicken and a good mother. She raised ducks for me and she raised... She's raised two clutches of chicks for me, so she's a very good mother. Hopefully I can get some eggs from her. I'm going to be hatching some chicks soon, I think, because I did lose four of the chicks that I thought I would have. Also, a lot of my neighbors lost chickens, so I think if I hatch them, there will be a need for it. So It is a beautiful evening. I wanted to show you all the sunset. We are getting ready to move the quail hutch that we built and put it right here next to the garden. That way I can enjoy them and also I'm going to grow a few tomatoes up to shade them a little bit. And I just wanted to show you the sunset. And look at these beautiful sunflowers against the sunset. Ah, so pretty. The finished quail hutch. Don't cut your head, Dad. Roofing is very sharp. Don't cut your head. Oh, which one did you want? You go. Help! You can smush me. What's on? Oh, it's crooked. It's not level. Where should we put it? Okay. You can stop recording. Guys. I guess I'll video. Oh, you could put a little rock under the that. The ground's just not level. What about over there? Low lighting, but here's our setup. So excited! We're going to attach two T posts here because it's a pretty light hutch and we have very high wind. So we're gonna attach 
the posts here and here, T-posts, and then secure it down into the ground with the T-posts. And then this isn't secured down yet either, but this is what I'm gonna grow. I have a few last tomatoes to plant, my backup tomatoes. I always have backup tomatoes in case we get a late freeze. <laughs> so I have a couple black cherries and yellow, ch yellow cherries to plant, yellow pear, they're yellow pear, so that my kids can pick them at any time that they want. Plus the chickens are right here and we can just throw them to the chickens. Everybody's closed up and locked in and we are getting ready to look at that game camera and show you guys what we found last night. We haven't looked at it yet, so we will look at that for the video. And you can see our reactions and everything as they're happening. We just finished, put the quail hutch right here looks really good and I put five tomatoes over here so I've got two yellow pears one green zebra one tomatillo and one black cherry and that is our little setup for the quail I'm gonna wait to put the quail in the hutch until after my trip I just now decided that because I want to be home all day when I put them out here so I can know that they're doing good we are pulling up the pictures see what it was. Hopefully, we hope that we'll get some good views. <sighs> That's it right there. That's gotta be it, huh? Mm-hmm. I don't see anything. What is that? That's a badger. You think that's it? I don't know yet. What happened? Uh oh, I can't. Oh, there. Oh, that's a rooster trigger. trigger. <laughs> what happened to it though? How foggy it was this morning? So apparently it was foggy this morning. It had to have been those night ones though. We'll see. We'll see. This might not be the day that it happened. What day was this? Is this all it took? No. We aren't sure what it is. But this is what, it got blurry, so something bumped our camera. Is that something right there? We don't know what it is still. What time do you think this would be at? Our time is off too. I have no idea. Well, our camera didn't catch it. We are pretty bummed. Got a bunch of foggy pictures of the rooster this morning. <laughs> and we're thinking it happened around this time. Do you want to click on one of those dark pictures? Because the chicks all move. I don't even know if this is today though. Because it's not getting the accurate time and date. So I'm but look, to adjust see the how they hop up right there? They're scared of something underneath them. And that one that bumped it. I think I already showed that though. Anyway, we are going to work with the camera and see if we can find it. That was really a letdown. Anticlimactic. <laughs> <laughs> a letdown. Totally waited to do it this evening and where is that? It's not in those, is it? Mm -mm. We went through every single picture. Okay. That just looks like the angle that it was at today. That's the wrong angle. That's the front of it. Hmm. To the handles. Well, shoot. Thanks for hanging out with us tonight, today, <laughs> and tonight. We will be back tomorrow. We'll be and back with more predator information. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's go put it outside. Mom,